Krishna, GK TV. So we have uh, Senator Ben Gopal here from New Jersey. So, sir, like we have a few things, like you know, especially like you are encouraging our Indian community. So, can you give a little brief about you know, like a lot of our kids? They are kind of disconnected, right? Like they are so much into studies, and you give encouraging speech about you know like you know, how to fill the gap. Sure. So, what exactly things we can do as parents? Sure. As like you know, as a community sure. to bring them to this culture so that they will participate, they will be active, and they can raise their voice. So studies is important, books are important, exams are important, but really it's important that a child has, is well round, that they have social skills, speaking skills, relationship skills. Uh, unfortunately, so many Indian American children are just so focused on exams and books but they need to educate themselves on everything else, and voting is very important. So I'm hopeful the future generations of kids in here from, uh, from generations of Indian parents will start focusing on voting, elections, democracy, things like that. So especially, like, no, like you mentioned a little bit about the volunteering. Can you emphasize or like, no, like, uh, brief a little bit about no, like how it is important? So it's important because we want to know who the superintendent of schools are. They hire all the teachers, who the police chief is. All of these things are so important. The only way we know who these people are or can affect these people is by being involved in the political process. It's local politicians and mayors who control this process. So what's wonderful here in Parsippity is they have many local Indian Americans serving on the planning board, zoning board, environmental commissions. Those all have big impacts on towns. It's really important that as Indian Americans we educate our children not just to come home and study the, the books but also to be involved. So if you don't mind, can you brief a little bit about your story so that encourages a lot of kids here? Sure. So I, uh, uh, my, my parents are from, um, from Kerala and Tamil Nadu. I travel to India every year to visit my grandparents. They live in Trivandrum, very southern city. And I am very close to my, my Indian uh, culture. I'm getting married in a temple. Uh, I associate to Hinduism. I took the oath of office in the Senate on the Gita. But with all that said, I'm still very involved with what's happening here locally. It's possible to be involved with your culture no matter whether you're Indian, Irish, Japanese, Pakistani, Sri Lankan, Nepalese, whatever you are. It's okay to be involved there, but you have to be involved here. And the problem is most of the Indian parents, first generation, they're more worried about what's happening in Modi and BJP and Congress. They need to be worried about what's happening here as much as what's happening there. They can't vote there anymore. So it's important as we talk to more and more Indian parents that they're educating their children on the importance of being involved in politics here while still keeping their roots from India. Thank you very much, sir. Thank Thanks you. a lot. So what you're saying is like, you no, know, where they are, where their future is, that is the key. So you raise your voice, participate in the community, volunteer, and raise your voice and then concerns and then help the local communities, what you're saying. I really, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Mr. Ven Gopal. Thanks a lot. Gopi Krishna, GKTV.